Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome back to the NPC Pokemon Challenge, where I behave a bit like an NPC in one of the Pokemon games and see how difficult thing that makes things. And I, in particular, are pretending that I am essentially eight. <laughs> so. And one of these rules is going to suck very, very shortly. Number three, specifically, because we're about to head, because we are in Duford Town, which means that it's time, it's about time to um, ooh, go into Granite Cave. What do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. I, I think you should just stop fishing briefly. This seems like a non-issue. Oh, this... Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm apparently slightly underleveled at this point. The weird thing is, tentacles actually have kind of terrible defense. So I was gonna say maybe Ziggy can be beat this thing, but with confusion in play, probably not. Uh, do I do I risk it for the biscuit? I don't think I do. Well, you get out here. Please don't poison, please don't poison, please don't poison. Good. Okay, cool. That was relatively painless. Maybe a bit sp sp spooky because I wasn't expecting him to level have a wow, have a level twelve tentacle. I <laughs> lost because I tried not to go to the washroom. Just, just stop fishing for a little bit, buddy. seems like not a hard problem. Which do you prefer, fishing in the sea or a stream? I've not gone fishing and I'm probably not going to. Cause like, while eight year old me would think that some of the fish were cool, uh, eight year old me probably wouldn't have had the patience to go fishing. <laughs> The thing, like thinking back to the first time I played, played through like Pokemon Red and Blue way back in the day, I think the only time I ever went fishing was was, was when I'm like, okay, I want a Magic Carp because I really want a Gyarados. But like, I don't think, it, I don't think I would think. Without the knowledge of what Magikarp turns into, I don't think Magic I would don't think younger me would have thought Magikarp was cool. Because Magikarp is not very cool. Oh my goodness, Ziggy, how many times are you going to hit yourself in confusion? Oh my goodness. So I probably shouldn't have just been going on autopilot during that, but now, oh. you know, I wasn't. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go back and heal before getting into the cave, but that is apparently not the world we live in today. Okay.
Also, arguably going fishing is actively going after specific Pokemon. I I don't know if it is or not, but we're just gonna we're just not gonna fish. Also, fishing in the Gen in Gen three games is kind of a pain. Like in Gen 1, really easy. You walk up to water, put out the rod, either you get something or you don't. Like in Gen 3, you throw out the rod, you either get something or you don't, but you also then have to time a button push to actually like pull in the thing, and it's like just a, a little annoying. Like in deep sea fishing, I lost spectacularly. Alright, and we're going back. Because confusion and poison. The guy's tentacle ended up being really annoying. Sorry, Pokemon to full health. I hope to see you again. Okay. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. The guy, ca guy who came by earlier, Steven I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but well for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. HMO5. Who needs Flash? Okay, I was really hoping I was going to find one of these. Not for the upcoming gym, but for the one, the one after this, for Watson. Now, I don't think eight-year-old me would have been able to do what I'm about to do, but I don't care. And that being navigate through this cave without flash. Uh oh, that could that could be a problem. Please don't kill yourself. Please don't. Okay. Uh Okay, I have a lot of Pokeballs actually. <laughs> Fun fact. Once upon a time. I had a rock collection. It wasn't a particularly big rock collection, but I had one, and I liked it. So, thousand percent, Geodude is eight-year-old me approved. Uh, okay. C can we really get a Geodude and not name it Rocky? I know it's a female Geodude, but... No, rock... No, we're not going to call it Roxanne, because that's actually a G gym leader in this. Mm. No, we're going to... We're doing it. This is now Rocky. Rocky was sent to the PC. Yay. Take the super potion from Ziggy. Actually, am I allowed to backtrack to go fetch a Pokemon? Yeah, I am. I'm allowed to backtrack to fetch a Pokemon that I want in my party. That'll be fine. That's fine. Donk. Speaking of Ziggy, I think Ziggy is actually going to be the one who ends up in the box to make room for the Geodude. So I'll be honest, Ziggy is not going to be particularly useful in this next gem. Okay. 
Rocky is level 8, so he does need a bit of experience if we can get it to him. <sighs> Makutia. I, I never thought that these things were cool. Like, I, I still don't, really. Like, no hate if you really like Makutia, but he, he looks like a little trash bag. This is a bit risky because this thing does have fighting moves, but even if it uses a fighting move, Rocky does have a ton of defense, so it might still be okay. Oh, or we'll just get a crit and win. That's fine. Wow. Wow. And one escape rope. Do I have anything that's good against this thing? I don't think I do. <laughs> but interestingly enough, did not think that these were cool when I was when I was younger. Don't know why. I just didn't. Uh oh. This isn't good. <laughs> this is really bad. I thought the confusion would do more damage than that because Aaron. Aaron only single resists it, and it doesn't have great special defense. Uh, but, um, well, this is bad. Like, this is, <laughs> this is bad. Oh, no. Okay, we got confusion. <laughs> I am suddenly very abruptly wishing that I had any kind of water Pokemon. That has a water move? Because that's actually super effective against these things. Those are rock steel. Rock is weak to water and steel does not resist it. Okay, this is... Okay, so this isn't being... I guess this isn't being as bad as I thought it would be. But oh my goodness, this is this is gonna be a slugging match, and my dust oxes are the only ones that I can actually do anything to these things. Everybody else is like, I'm gonna flail at you with a normal type attack. It do nothing. Speaking of normal, I need to switch Zexagoon for the rock. There we go. Fixed it. <coughs> I don't have a mock bike, so I can't go up there. No, not another one! <laughs> they can't run away! Oh no. Oh, I'm really hoping Rocky gets a, um... Gets a, um... A thing. On a side note, Mudslap is supposed to have an accuracy reduction. D ah, Shield Dust. Okay. I was gonna say, does, do my Dust Oxes have something that is preventing that? Because, like, if so, that's really nice. And, yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> thought it was the, I, the, I'll be honest, I thought it was gonna be the effect, uh, or the ability compound eyes. You, you can use, use that as much as you'd like. I'm not hitting your defense.
If shield dust is low key coming in clutch. Yeah. Hey, it's not an Aaron. It's something else. <laughs> However, Zubat, so interesting thing. Like, bats are cool, but I fought way too many Zubats over the years to think that Zubat is still cool. They're, no, they're just, it's just annoying. Cause like every, almost every single game has at least one cave somewhere that has way too many Zubats in it. Or let me rephrase that. At least Gen, well, Gen One was just absolutely terrible about it. It's like, oh hey, yes, let's see, Mount Moon, Rock Tunnel, and Victory Road, all freaking caves with way too many Zubats in it. There were less in. Gen 2. There's just the one small cave between Violet City and Azalea Town? The one where Bugsy is. Also, can you tell that I've <laughs> I've played Gen 3 way too many times. It's like, I'm in a cave, it's dark. Am I making it through the cave anyway, in spite of that? Yup. That's bad. Why does this one have a headbutt? That's, that's, that's really bad. <laughs> Potentially, because headbutt is a significantly stronger move than tackle or mud slap. So we might be in for a bit of a beating if it decides to ever attack us. I hope it doesn't, to be honest. Okay, well, we got lucky. So he did attack us, but it didn't use headbutt. Okay, mud slap. That doesn't do anything. Or, well,. It does a bit of damage, but not much else. Oh no. Oh, it was, oh, ow. Stop using headbutt. Please stop attacking me. This one errand has just about taken out both of my dust oxes. Just oh, yep, he he did. Ah. Uh, that's not great. However, I think I can just put Rocky back in and he can maybe get all of the experience for this. Maybe level up, maybe get magnitude, and then these things will cease being a problem. Mudslap. Oh lordy! Uh... Ow! Okay, no, never mind. That's... this is... that's not happening. Okay, um, let's see. We're gonna send in Susan because I'm pretty sure Susan has compound eyes, so if it uses Mud Slap, still be okay. Also, I don't know if Steel resists Bug, but I know Rock doesn't, so this might do okay. Okay, Steel does resist Bug. That's unfortunate.
Please don't be an Aaron. See, see why? Do I have anything that can bug? <laughs> I'm pretty sure bug can hit it. <laughs> yeah, but um, Rocky can't. Those two can't. I, I think, I, I think, I, I, I think this is the only move I have. I think Leech Life is the only move that I have that can actually hit this thing. I think? No, it, it's Ghost. Yeah, it's Dark Ghost, which means it's immune to, uh, normal fighting and psychic. <laughs> Which is most of my attacks. <laughs> the only one that isn't is this one. <laughs> but, um... So, young me never found a Sableye, but young me also would have been absolutely soaked to have one. So, we're catching this thing. Or we're gonna try to, anyway. I... Uh... Also, why did I think that I had a small chance of finding Mawile in here? Like, Mawile is in Ruby, I think. And I'm pretty sure Sableye and Mawile are version exclusives. I think those have moves besides Foresight, right? <laughs> Oh, yep, there you go. Ow. Okay. Okay. Come on, Pokeball. Come on. Oh no. And season's down. Mm. Okay, well. I can't kill this thing anymore, and I can't run. So either I'm catching this thing or I'm dying. <laughs> Oh no! Oh! Mm. Oh! <laughs> that shade doesn't affect Lily. Because it's a ghost move. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I just. Um. I almost caught the Sableye, but it broke out. And I'm a little sad. But. You know, I might need to throw the, the I have three great balls. I should prob I should maybe try to use one of them. Just just cuz better odds, I think. Come on. Uh, oh! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Here I was being worried about the errands. <laughs> no! Eventually, the Sook is going to use Scratch and Lily is just going to die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there goes. Oh, there goes all of my great balls. Uh, no! I'm having flashbacks to trying to catch Kyogre without a Master Ball. Yes! 
Yes, yes, yes. Also, why do I really, really want to call the Sableye Florence? I don't know, it just seems to fit. Okay. Time to time to leave. It is time to leave. <laughs> uh where where am I? I I got so excited about finding a well, mm, maybe I can make it. No, I, I can't risk it. I, I can't risk it. Also, I just remembered that Nankata got knocked out. Yeah, we're gonna. We're leaving. We are. Let's see. Okay, I'm used to going forwards in this cave. I'm not used to going backwards in the dark. Also, if I'm running away from everything, I should probably not have Rocky in front. However, I think we're gonna try and kill the Zubat, just for experience. See if Rocky can get Magnitude, which will make this so much easier. I have no idea what level Geodude learns Magnitude in this gen. <coughs> Okay, that missed Supersonic, which is fantastic. Uh, okay, so I want to bring the Sableye with me. But I don't know who I'm going to deposit for it. Actually, I don't need Rocky now. I need Rocky in the future. So that's probably who I'm going to box for now. Okay, we've almost gotten out of Granite Cave. Okay, this is risky, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Please don't use Arm Thrust. That's not Arm Thrust, thank you. Okay. Okay, that's annoying, but fine. Maybe fine. Stop that. Eh, no, Lily. No, stop it. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, 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 oh! I was not expecting that to work. Rocky's level eleven. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you? That's the wrong it! <laughs> I mean, that's also good, but <laughs> not what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Hello, yes please, I would like to heal all of my everybody, because all of my everybody is in a bit of pain. Have to see you again. Blip. Okay, so. Uh, okay. So, we do not need Rocky for this. Well, I mean, we don't. Okay, so Amber will lo be low-key really, really good for certain gyms, but also not this upcoming one. So maybe I keep Rocky here, because 
Rocky will be important sooner? Maybe? Because the, the weird thing it weird thing is, Rocky is actually quite useful for, like, so not so good against fighting, but, like, upcoming we have Electric with a lot of steel as well. Rocky's really good there. Then, Fire. No. Am I missing one? Is there somebody between Watson and Flannery? No. Yeah, there's Watson, Flannery, then Norman, then Winona. And Rocky is pretty good against all of it, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, but, yeah, so I think I'm gonna bring Susan back, or Amber back out eventually, but for now, Amber's in the box, pull out Florence. Also, I am mildly annoyed now, because I was like, you know what, you know what would make this a bit easier? So I can't, so just as like a personal extra challenge that I do most of the time when I'm playing Pokemon, is that I don't let like, I don't let myself use items in in combat, but I was thinking, but I was thinking to myself, hey, I should maybe bring some potions so I can actually like get through the cave. But apparently, Duver doesn't have it doesn't have a um, Pokemart, so. Please bear with me for one second while I go spend money. I don't know why Doofer doesn't have a Pokes Pokemart, actually. Okay, I was for a half a second there. I was like, wait, does this town not have one either? What? Okay. Do, do I have antidotes? If I don't have antidotes, I should get a few. <laughs> okay, I do have some potions. Just didn't occur to me to try and use them. Can, you, can I buy super potions from here? No, I can't. Okay. N no, I don't want ten. Let's get like five. And a couple more Pokeballs. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna sail back to Duford and then. I think that'll be. I think that'll have to be the end of this episode. But, it was fairly. Um, like, good things happened. We caught some stuff. new members of the party. Oh. Also this is interesting because I don't use I don't usually go out of my way to try and find a sable eye. So I'm kind of excited to see how it performs. Yes. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Alrighty. So, that's going to be the end of this round of things. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And 
I will see you again later. Bye! And that'll wrap up another video. I hope you enjoyed that, and if all goes according to plan, there will be more of me doing this on Monday, and more of Susie doing her thing on Saturday. If you'd like to go ahead and like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it quite a bit. If you happen to be interested in watching us live, we stream on Twitch on Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, 8pm Eastern and Sunday at 2pm. And, well, that'll be it for me then. So long.